it's now easier than ever to use custom fonts in Squarespace because finally Squarespace now supports uploading of custom fonts and assigning them easily to our type elements. Previously, if our font is not available within the font picker or font dropdown, of our Squarespace sites tiles, then our only way to use other fonts is to use code. But now Squarespace added this handy upload feature where we can easily drag and drop our font files. But before you upload any font files here, make sure that you have the rights to use them on your website. Note that most font foundries will have separate licenses for desktop and web. Please ensure that you have the right license. For web use, it's best if you have the Wolf 2 or Wolf files, but if those are not available, then you may use the other file formats. In this case, uh, for the font that I'll be using, the font foundry only has the OTF files for web use, so that's what I'm uploading. Note that if they provide multiple file formats, you should only upload one. In this case, I can go ahead and drag the file, then Squarespace automatically reads the file name and all the properties. So notice how it detected that it's the light version and the font weight is 300. And so if I'd like to use that font for my headings, for example, then I can easily assign that via our font dropdown. So if I go to headings, instead of Helvetica, I can choose from my uploaded font files. So if I click glossy display, then it will be applied to all our headings. Currently under text transform, it is set to uppercase, but I'd like to change this to none. And then let's try if I italicize any of these headings. If I italicize this word, then it seems like the browser just slightly transforms it. The italicized version of the font should look like this based on the Foundry's website. Fortunately, Squarespace handles variations of the fonts really well. So as long as you purchase or download the italicized version of the font from the Foundry like this one, and again, make sure you have the proper license, all we need to do is drag and drop it to our font manager like so, and it will also automatically categorize it to the same font. Notice how it showed up as light italic and then with the same font weight. Now, when we italicize any of the elements, then it will show the proper italicized version of that font as designed. I also have other variations of the font. So this one is the light and I have the regular versions. Now, if I'd like to switch to those regular versions, then again, Squarespace can automatically detect the font weight. So if I'd like to switch to the 400 font weight, then I can easily switch to that via the weight property. It's now incredibly easy to upload multiple variations of the font, but then um, notice that there is a reminder here that fewer fonts is key to a faster site. So please be intentional with a font that you are uploading. Also, if we try to upload several variations of the same font, for example, if I try to upload the condensed version of the regular font, then it won't be able to distinguish between the regular and the regular contents. So please ensure to upload just the variations that you need. Now, if we want to delete any instances of the font, then we can use this uh, X or close icon, but then uh, we need to make sure that the font is not assigned to any element. So notice if I try to delete this, then it it'll prompt us that uh, we need to remove it from our site before we can delete it. But as soon as we assign it to a different font or a different variation, then we'll be able to delete it. Of course, we are not limited to headings only. We may upload other custom fonts. In this case, I added this sonar font. And notice if I go to our miscellaneous fonts, I can again, assign it to one of our uploaded fonts. And if I would like to use it, I can simply select an element. And for example, on a text block, I can assign that font by 
setting it to mono space now i have a different font like so the beauty of this having the uploaded fonts in our font drop down is we can also assign that font via our granular font assignments under assign styles so for example if you'd like to change the site title to our custom font then again we can access the same drop down however if you're not going to use that font a lot throughout the site then it might be worth considering using svgs instead because again um, loading fonts would affect site speed if you wish to learn more font tips in Squarespace, then please check out this video where I shared how to add multiple fonts in one line. For example, if I'd like to set this to another custom font, I hope you found this video helpful.